Sit. Good. Mark. Booray! Jazz! Come around, Sadie. Sadie, come around. This is Sadie. She's a red setter, developed from the Irish setters. This is Zena, German short-haired pointer. Unbelievable nose. This is a Springer Spaniel. One of the most difficult decisions a bird hunter makes is what kind of dog to get. He's a pointer, an American pointer. The American Kennel Club calls them the sporting group and recognizes 26 different breeds. Each breed has different attributes, but all crave two things, to find birds and please their masters. Sporting dogs are divided into two general types, those used on upland game like quail and pheasant, and retrievers used to hunt waterfowl like ducks and geese. There she is. Rody Best trains retrievers at Triple Crown Dog Academy just outside Austin. Back. This is the Labrador Retriever. Rody trains a lot of Labrador Retrievers. Labrador Retrievers are actually the number one AKC registered uh, canine in America. They're a very popular dog because of their polite and gentle disposition. They make a great family companion and also make a great hunting companion. Labrador Retrievers come in three colors, black, yellow, and chocolate. Jazz! This is Tori. Tori is a black female Labrador Retriever, approximately nine months of age. Sit. Tori! We use the dog's name to send the dog on the birds as an individual command. If you're hunting with many of your buddies, and they all have dogs, if you share a common command, say, fetch, uh, all three dogs could go. If we have one dog's name and we can send one dog to the other two, no, not to go. Sit. Instead, stay. We ask them to deliver to hand because of conservation of game. If the dog had made the retrieve and was bringing back a wounded bird to us, and they dropped it at our feet, the chances of that bird possibly getting away is great. So we ask the dog to deliver from their mouth to our hand, so if the bird is wounded, we can retrieve the bird and it won't go flying off somewhere. Dogs used for hunting upland game include the pointers, the spaniels, and the setters. These dogs find game for the hunter and then retrieve any shot birds. Good shot. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Over the past 40 years, Harlan Winter has trained over 2,000 hunting dogs. Zena is a German short-haired pointer, and Zena is one of the best I've ever worked with. She has a great uh, personality and unbelievable nose. She can pick up birds from 40, 50 feet out. Harlan has trained Zena to carefully follow birds if they move. This is called roding. Now, if the bird keeps walking away from her, she's permitted to road it. That isn't creeping. If she moves in on a bird or a covey that isn't moving, that's considered creeping. But when a bird's moving, a dog can walk up and try to pin it down. So roading dogs are smart dogs. I don't know how she's going to get around this. She's going to have to back her head out. Let's see if I can get the bird to walk a little farther. I'd like for her to road a little because she can do it real well. Here we go. See how careful she is? She's trying to hold the bird. She doesn't want to flush it. Notice I'm not hollering wool at her or anything. She knows exactly what to do. There, bird stopped, she stopped. So now she isn't creeping, she isn't roading because the bird isn't moving. It's doing, she's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. 
Harlan has trained just about every kind of bird dog there is. Pitch. But each dog presents its own unique challenge. This is Junior, an American pointer. He's about two years old. I've been working him for two months now. All right, come around, Junior. <whistles> Atta boy. That's better. This is Megan. She's an English setter. Actually, she's a Llewellyn. This is Punch. He's a orange and white, Brittany. This is Ava. She's a Weimaraner, another German breed. But for two years, she's been used for nothing but uh, retrieving doves. And uh, so now her owner wants her to point quail. Hunt him up, big. That's a boy. Some trainers become smitten with a certain type of dog. That's what's happened to Buck Grabowski. He specializes in spaniels. They're the best overall dog, I think, and everybody who has a breed like that says that. First of all, you wouldn't find very much game without them. These wily old cockbirds will just run circles around you. And once you do put a bird down, you want somebody that's going to retrieve that game. Uh, we hate to leave wounded game out in the field. And with these cockers, they have the greatest noses of most dogs, and they will make all the retrieves to hand for you. Buck trained Springer Spaniels and Cocker Spaniels. These are the kind of dogs most people, it's all they'll need in Texas. There's no big frozen water around. You can hunt anything in the cold weather. We've had some skim ice here, and our cockers will break the skim ice and make retrieves of ducks for us. And they'll hunt in the okay. hot weather. They're just a very versatile dog. Retrieving all shot game is the goal of every hunt and what a good bird dog lives for. These dogs will do just about anything. You saw them flushing and retrieving birds. Now we've got a bird shot uh, about 150 yards out, and we're going to try to do a blind retrieve and see if this dog can pick it up and bring it and save it for the table. Back. That was a pretty nice retrieve. He had to go out 150 yards or so. We had a little handling, but he made the retrieve, and we saved the Good bird. Boy. Good job. You. The right, best place right to experience the merits of a hunting dog is in nice the field, shot. hunting game. That's what it's all about. To me, it's like sitting back and watching a painting being made. I'm sitting back watching my dog out there, and that's the brush strokes. She's out there making a good retrieve, and it's, it's like art in motion, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, neat thing to watch. Going hunting uh, with a good dog is like going dancing with the most attractive, beautiful dancer in the world. It truly is. It's like Once you've point. had that good dog that does everything for you, whether it points or flushes, retrieves, there is no fun in hunting anymore for birds without a dog. There is no fun at all. Hunting isn't hunting without dogs to me anymore. You just have to have a good friend with it.